So I used to work at this lab. Yeah. And um, they're, they're just a bunch of jokers, a bunch of clowns. So clowns. one day they decided. Scientists or clowns? Oh yes. Really? Yeah. Oh, I did not suspect that. A bunch of goofballs. Anyhow, so one day, um, I get this email at work that, you know, my my application to I don't remember what the website it was had been accepted, and that people would now be voting on how good looking I was. Nice. So these guys that I work with uploaded actually it wasn't even my picture, but they put oh. my name, Mrs. and people Sims. were voting if I was good looking or not. No, well, no wonder they they put the picture on there they, that wasn't you because they were afraid you wouldn't get votes. That's true. I, I actually, come to think of it, I think it was like a, a picture for the Dodgers. Is they, they um, put, put that picture of that guy? Dodgers. Like, yeah, it it's was a baseball I, team, I lived, right? Yeah, it is. I lived in Los Angeles. <laughs> yeah, you're the sports guy. Right? Yeah, actually, yeah, I did know that. Yeah. Right. All right. So anyhow, um, they're actually in the playoffs right now. Oh, they really? Know? I did not. I should know that because my father-in-law is a Dodger junkie. Yeah. But um, believe it or not, that story actually relates to um, what we're. How's that relate? Because um, are you hot or are you not? Oh, okay. So and, are you hot? Uh, my wife thinks so. Okay. That's all that matters. Yeah, that's true. You know? <laughs> <laughs> cool. All right. Single replacement reactions, we have to decide if the reaction takes place, and if it does, we have to figure out what the products are. Yeah. So we're going to learn how to predict the products of the reaction. Mm -hmm. So let's uh, we just do it. Now, the key thing to understand this, you know, we already talked about this analogy. We did. we did. So basically, yeah, the best-looking guy gets the girl. Right. That's the key. Right. The best-looking guy gets the girl. If he's already got the girl, he stays. keeps the girl. Yeah, yeah. so the... Um, and what we what we mean in the chemistry terms by the best looking guy is the metal that is the highest on, on the reaction table. So which guy is table. most at attractive? Now, if you remember at the beginning of this entire unit, we said you need to tape a a couple of tables in the back of your comp book. Mm -hmm. So please get your comp book out now. Open up to that table. The table looks like that this. One. This is called the activity series of metals, and the best looking guy on the block lithium is lithium. Okay. Ow! That sounds almost wrong. In fuego. Should I back up. Woo! Nah, okay. You're not. You're not nearly as hot as lithium. Yeah, that's true. I'm not. You're like platinum. Ooh! Ouch! Ouch! Platinum. I didn't put you at the clear bottom, but yeah, close, I guess, huh? Yeah. Okay. I'm. Uh. Yeah. That's that's why. So the the least attractive guy on the block is gold. Now that's, that's kind right. of weird. Gold's pretty. Yeah. Here I have a gold ring right here. Yeah. Um. It's gold and it's. Good looking, Yeah, right? but not in terms of chemistry reactivity. Yeah. In terms of reactivity. Those anions, they like yeah. them some lithium. Yeah. Lithium is kind of the hot guy on the, on the block. That's right. So okay. I, I think I'm about a magnesium or so. Magnesium? Yeah. I, I'm about a magnesium. I was kind of thinking like copper. Oh, come on. <laughs> well, you put me in platinum for crying out loud. Oh. Jeez Louise. You know, you're old. I may be old, but... <laughs> <laughs> All right. be old and good looking? Let's do some work. I think we should better work. All okay. Right. So here we have iron... 3 chloride plus lithium. Okay. So the first thing we need to ask is will the reaction occur? Yes. Now, the good news about this one is there's no question it's going to happen. It's because lithium. It's lithium. Everybody wants to be with lithium. Lithium is, you know, I used to have, not, another story. Uh oh. Now, okay, story. All right, my first year teaching, I taught in a, uh, a school, and I had this boy You named, taught in a school? I taught in a school my first year teaching. <laughs> yeah. I know that's wild. In inner, inner city middle school, and I had this young man named Caesar, Cesar. And Cesar, every girl wanted to date Cesar, and every boy wanted to be Cesar. Mm. And so um, Cesar um, is like the lithium. He gets the girl. I don't care who. Uh, so iron took the girl to dance, and lithium takes it. So now here's a very important thing we have to do. We have to make a little scratch pad down here because we have to rebuild the compounds over yes. here. Okay. The common mistake, I'm going to write this down, but do not copy, is they'll say LiCl3 plus Fe. <coughs> and that is so wrong. Don't ever do that. What we have to do is we have to say, all right, we have to say Fe. We've got three players in the, in the game here. Mm -hmm. We've got Fe, Cl, and Li. And we have to figure out what their charges are. Right. Now, the iron is actually not terribly important what his charge is. No, because it comes out as plain old iron later on. Yeah. But chlorine, or chloride, actually, we're going to look on the periodic table, and we'll find his charge minus is minus one. Minus one. Now, we didn't, we're not going there. And lithium is in column one, so he is positive one. All right, and actually iron, if you look, and actually you can actually go back to this chart here. If you find iron, and he's somewhere on this chart, you'll notice his charge is three positive, right? Mm -hmm. So let's go ahead and write that down. Okay. So his charge is plus three. And that's what it is in the iron three chloride anyhow. Anyway. Right. And so what are we going to do is who's going to get together with who is it's going to make LiCl. Well, now, why didn't you put LiCl3? Because the charge of the lithium is one, and the charge of the chloride right. is minus So you're just one. writing the compounds the way you did in unit two yeah. and the way you did in unit three. 
based on the chart. Yeah, so we're not. this is nothing new, but you've got to write the correct formula, and then you'll just plus, say plus Fe. Now, don't put the charge on iron at this point. That's right, because he loses the charge. Right. He just becomes elemental iron. Like when we saw in the last podcast where Mr. Sams made the pure silver. Um, it, it's not silver with the charge. That's just pure it's, silver. Right. So what happens here is the the pure metal on the left gets a charge, and the metal ion on the left loses the charge. Now, if we write this out, I'll write it out. We can now balance now it. Now we need to balance. So, yeah, we've got three chlorides. That's, mm -hmm. the, that's the most complex atom. So yep. I'm going to put a line in front of each, right, do that kind of thing. And so I'm going to have to put a three here. That fixed my chlorine, but it okay. messes up my lithium. Right. So I put a three here, and that's it right there. Okay. That is the balanced chemical equation. Yeah. What's going to happen if you put iron three chloride with lithium? Now, typically, by the way, it does. This is aqueous. Let's talk about our states. This would be aqueous, and we said this is solid. Right. This, since it's in a solution, it's going to stay aqueous. Right. And this is iron. That's going to be a solid because yeah. when you look in the periodic table, he is a he's a metal. Yep. Metals right so there. for our purposes, for the single replacement reactions, it's yes. always going to be aqueous and a solid becomes aqueous and a solid. That's correct. Unless uh, well, we yeah. unless we make hydrogen. Yeah. Okay, we'll let's do another that. example. Let's okay. say we have potassium phosphate, phosphite and calcium. That is not written correctly, Mr. Bergman. K3PO3. Oh, yes, it is. Yeah, Never it mind. Is. I lied. You're fine. All right, so we have three players here, K, PO3, and CA. Now, actually, an interesting question we need to ask, who's kind of fighting for who? Well, the calcium is fighting for the phosphate, and so is the potassium. It's no. also fighting for the phosphate. So we need to see who is better looking. Let's so let's look go at our, our table here. Okay. There it is. So potassium is here, mm -hmm. and calcium is here. So the right. better looking one is potassium. is potassium. So phosphate is going to go with potassium. Hey, phosphate's already with potassium. So phosphate already has potassium. So guess what? He stays. This this is what right. we would say. No. No reaction. reaction. So or we just sometimes just say NR. No reaction. Very yeah. nice. So we don't have to do anything on that one. So nothing's going to happen because you see, potassium is a better looking guy. He's already got the girl. He keeps the girl done. Yep. Okay. That's an easy one. Yeah. Okay, what about uh, this one, Mr. Sams? Okay, H3PO4 plus calcium. Okay. Okay. So we need to look on the chart. Okay, so let's look on the chart. Who's higher, calcium or hydrogen? There's, There's hydrogen. hydrogen, and then calcium, I believe, is higher. There it is. So, so calcium is higher, so phosphate wants to be with calcium. All right, so we have to play the game here. So who are our players? So we got H, we got PO4, mm -hmm. and we got CA. Yep. So actually, this is what it's going to make, right, Mr. Sams? It'll be CAH plus PO4. No. Why not? Because the CA will never hook up with the H. The cations do not join together. They trade places. Now, this is important, guys. The mistake I often see is students do exactly what I just did. Yeah. Um, because you have to realize who's competing with whom for the girl. The girl, right. will, in this case, if we're going to use our analogy, the girl has the negative charge. Phosphate has a charge of minus 3. Right. And hydrogen is positive 1, and calcium is positive 2. I've gotten that from the periodic table or my polyion list. That's right. where I got these numbers. So these are the three people. Mm -hmm. Now, you can't put a positive with a positive because it will never add up to a zero charge. Right, because the, the positive charges, they don't add up to zero because they repel each other, actually, even. So I'm going to recopy this. H3PO4 yeah. plus CA, and it's going to make, now we're going to put together. Calcium is going to together with phosphate. Okay. Now, I, I, by the way, I also don't say PO4CA. I'm going to say CA and the PO4. Right. But I have a charge issue. I have uh, two and three, so Right, that's we need six. to make them six. So uh, to make them six, that becomes CA3, three three, parentheses, PO4, parentheses, two, two plus H. H. Now, not H. H. No, H. Whenever H by itself, it's H2. It's one of those Brinkelhoff it's guys. It's the H in Brinkelhoff. Yeah. Or in the Magic 7. Yeah. All right. That's, that's it. That's it. We should probably balance we it. We should balance that, Let's though. start with the most complicated Oh, I one. see a pretty complex one. Yeah, that calcium one. phosphate Boy, is that's ugly. really cal All right, so I got three calcium, yep. so I'm going to put a three there. Okay. And I got two, two phosphates. phosphates, so if I put a two there, and that gives me six, six hydrogens. hydrogens. So put a three here. Now, awesome. states of matter, we said this was aqueous. aqueous and this solid. is solid. Aqueous. Um, Oh, actually, that's not aqueous. We'll learn later why. You probably, we wouldn't mark you wrong if you said aqueous, yeah. but it's actually a solid. And this is a gas because it's an element by itself. Yeah. And it's, uh, it happens to be one we know is a gas. Yeah. Why I know this is a solid? We'll talk about that in the next podcast. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Okay, good. Now, let's Kay. do single replacement reactions, but with words. words. Okay.